In this video, you'll learn how to log into your ChemiDoc, use SmartTray technology, capture protein gel images in three easy steps, how to use stain-free imaging, and export your images. To turn your ChemiDoc on, push the green button in front of your instrument. When the customizable home screen appears, tap anywhere to bring up the login menu. If you're a new user, type the desired username Click the plus sign and the new login will be entered. Administrative controls can be set by clicking the person icon in the top right hand corner. To begin, open the imager and pull out the Transilluminator. Remember that all gels and blots are always imaged on one of three trays. It is easy but important to clean the trays. Simply use DI water and a Kim wipe for the best performance. SmartTray technology automatically recognizes application-specific trays and adjusts imaging parameters and software options accordingly. For color metric stains, select the white tray. Center your sample on the tray. When you are satisfied with the position, push the trend illuminator back in and close the drawer. Zoom into the desired imaging area. If you prefer, simply select Small, Medium, or Large under Image Size. Tap Application to select the appropriate category and the stain for your sample. In this example, we are examining a protein gel stained with our BioSafe Kumasi Blue Stain. You can take a preview of your image and set your region of interest. This can be used for excluding very bright areas that you won't want to quantify, such as your marker. Choose between entering your exposure time or enabling automatic detection of your bands. Tap the camera button and capture the image. BioRad's stain-free gels are an excellent alternative to Kamasi Blue. No staining or de-staining is required, just a simple 45 second UV activation step. After you've completed electrophoresis, place the stain-free gel directly on the UV tray. When you are satisfied with the position, push the trend illuminator back in and close the drawer. Select stain-free gel as your application. Then under exposure, select a gel activation time of 45 seconds for blotting or use five minutes for increased sensitivity, which can be helpful if the stain gel is the final product. Tap the camera button and capture the image. If blotting, stain-free gels can be visualized on the membrane and serves as both an effective transfer efficiency check and total protein stain. For a rapid look at the band intensities, you can tap each band and the relative fluorescence units as well as percent to saturation will appear. To adjust your image, Tap the transform icon in the lower toolbar. Adjustments are automatically saved, but the actual data will remain unaffected. Your images will be automatically saved and exported to the gallery. Tap the image info icon. Here you can enter a custom name and any notes you'd like to include about your image or experiment. Tap the Send Save icon to select the file format you wish to export. You can export images in multiple file types. Under Export Options, tap a file type and the destination, either saving to a USB drive or to a network. If you choose the ImageLab file format, the custom name, notes, and all the data included below are exported to BioRed's license-free ImageLab analysis software available for both Mac and PC. We hope that this instructional video has showed you how to capture a protein gel image. For further learning, please utilize the complete searchable onboard manual, as well as the Teach As You Tap software assistance tool.